Oh fuck, oh hi. Hi, hi there. I am everyone's favorite jack of all trades with the foul mouth, Commodore Urban. And thank you for joining in. This is actually going to be a one of a series of book reviews. Yeah, I've got several book reviews to do. I've been kind of fucking lazy, and I should have done these last year, but with all the fucking awful shit going on last year, we're not even going to say what it is. The year that everything fucking sucked. Anyway, I've been doing a lot of reading books, and so I'm going to finally re I'm going to finally review them. But before I begin, I just want to say hi to everyone. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying my videos, and if you're new to the channel, you like the shit I'm doing, hit that subscribe button, hit that fucking notification bell, become part of the comments crew, and never miss another shit I put out again. And you know, to all the new viewers. I'm glad you guys are tuning in to all the old school viewers and the OGs. Thank you for sticking around. Now you probably wondered. We have the Titanic behind us. Well, yeah. No duh, Sherlock. <laughs> Fuck. We, I guess we're going to be reviewing a book about the Titanic. And this is a good one. This is a really good book, guys, because this is actually considered to be one of the... One of the very first Titanic books you should get. Or it usually... Uh, ow. Yeah, it fucking hurt. Uh, no, I wasn't picking my fucking nose. I was itching it. There's a fucking difference. No, but... um, uh, Usually, anyone ever gets interested in the Titanic, there's usually always a set... Uh, a certain set of books you always get. You know, for me, my very first book was 882 and a half amazing que answers to your questions to the Titanic. But this book, this is one of the early books on the Titanic, and one of the best known books. Every Titanic buff usually has this book. And if you don't have this book in your Titanic buff, there's something wrong. Something very fucking wrong. And the book I'm talking about is Titanic an Illustrated History by Don Munch and Ken Marshall with introduction by Titanic discoverer Robert D. Ballard. Yeah, the great lost liner revealed in words and pictures as never before. No one ever dreamed that her last voyage would all that her first voyage would also be her last. To the elegantly dressed first class passengers who swept down the grand staircase on her way to dinner, the Titanic seemed to be the ultimate comfort and security. But only hours later, the greatest ship ever built would lie on the bottom of the Atlantic, and her few surviving passengers would be left shivering in lifeboats. Now the complete story of the unsinkable Titanic from her construction and launch to her sink and every discovery is told in words and hundreds of pictures in one magnificent, lavishly illustrated one. And oh my god, they are absolutely fucking correct. When I say lavishly, this is an absolute gem of a book. An absolute fucking jewel of a book. Because um, this book originally was published in 1992 as a hardcover. It was originally published as a hardback book in 92. That's a year after I was born. That was 28 years ago. And the version I'm holding is the sixth edition, which is the paperback from 1996. So, anyway, this this book tells the story of the Titanic, or the supposed complete story of the Titanic, as it was in the 90s. It's by far not really a complete story of the ship, but it's definitely a good chunk of the story. Of course, this is everything that we thought we knew about the ship, because at the time, you gotta think, we didn't know as much about the ship as we fucking know now. Like, and there, like, right here, this is one of my favorite parts of this book. Like, it fucking opened up. It's this awesome, cuddly painting by Ken Marshall. And this is actually was one of the pictures I used to paint uh, my Academy um, 1400 Scale Deluxe Titanic kit was this picture. And of course there were several other ones. You know. But 
you know, this book basically tells the story of the Titanic from her earliest origins to, you know, her construction, her launch, her outfitting, her sea trials, her legendary well-fated maiden voyage, you know, her sinking, the rescue of the passengers by the Carpathia, the aftermath, and both the inquiries, British and the American and the British inquiries, which the American inquiry did a better job, because the British inquiry was a godforsaken fucking whitewash, it was just a piece of shit, and all the safety standards put in, in place afterwards. It's definitely a amazing book, and I actually, years and years ago, I did have the original hardback edition of the book, but somewhere along the lines, it got stolen, and I think I know who's stolen. This fucking prick stole a lot of shit from me. He was the one that stole, like I said in an earlier video, I had a signed picture of Captain Kirk by, um, by, you know, son of William Shatner. And this son of a bitch stole it too. He stole a lot of my shit for fucking, you know, drug money, meth money, fucking cocksucker. Now this is one that my brother actually bought me not too long ago. He bought this for me as, um, as a gift. It was actually it was a surprise, really. He bought it, I think he bought it like in July or August. He found it at the bookstore and he's like, yeah, I remember you said you had this book and... I wanted to get you another copy of it. I was like, that's fucking awesome, thanks. There's actually a really interesting story about this book. This was the book James Cameron used. Well, this is not the book, but it was Titanic and Illustrated History. This was the book James Cameron used to pitch his film, Titanic. He just basically, he went into all the executives of Paramount. He fucking just flipped the book open you know, to a painting of, you know, the Titanic. He flipped it open to a picture of the Titanic. He said, a Romeo and Juliet story on this ship. And he said it was the shortest pitch he ever made because they all okayed it. And the rest is history. Titanic became a movie that won 11 Academy Awards and made billions and billions of dollars over the fucking world. So, all because of this book he used it to pitch the movie with. But you know, it is an absolutely a, an amazing book with a lot of awesome paintings by Ken Marshall. I love his paintings. This is a great book to get if you love his paintings. You'll you want to learn more about the Titanic, this is a good place to start. Definitely read it if you can get it. If you can buy it, buy it and own it. If you can't get it from the fucking library, I don't give a shit. Get this book, read it. That's a good starting point. And my overall thing is two thumbs up, five stars, of course. It's one of the quintessential books to have in your collection if you're a titaniac. you got to have this book. You must. It's a must. So thank you. Thank you for watching my review. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back with you. And like I said, if you're new to the channel and you like the shit I'm doing, that subscribe button, hit that fucking notification bell, become part of the Commodore's crew, and never miss another video. So until next time, this is Commodore Urban. Sam Smooth season, clear skies. Happy sailing with all of you. God bless all of you. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay awesome, stay yourselves, and also to all the haters, fuck you guys. Not to my not to my fans, but to the haters. Screw you guys. Go go fuck off. And until next time, so long.